everyone. So, uh, it's the end of the month. I'm sitting here building a door for a customer at our house. Trying to find all the bits and pieces. Did I just lose a hinge pin? Oh well. So, I've been doing a little experiment. You know, a little challenge to myself just to see you know what's real and what's not so for the whole month of may or mayhem or whatever you want to call it well i call it the month of mayhem um i've been wearing skirts the entire month just to see how people were to react what they would do there it is and uh I guess in the short term, I'm really disappointed because no one said anything, no one did anything, you know. And I'm going to tell you why I, I thought something would happen. Is on the news media, all they talk about is, you know, how trans, and when I say news, I should say the conservative news. Um, all they do is they talk about how trans people are bad and how they're sick and revolting and you know d destroying the American way of life and all this kind of stuff and I've met trans people before most of them women to men I've met uh, well, I should say I've had customers that were men transitioning to be women and think any of them were really bad. I mean, some of them probably had a private life that I wouldn't want to know about, but, but like I have a family member who used to be uh, one sex and now is another. Um, I actually met a, uh, a woman uh, who was a singer. Oh, sorry for the background noise. Who was a uh, singer and on her very last day of uh, being a woman, she sung a song, and then, then you know she went into surgery and became a man. I was actually at the bar, very emotional too, because knowing that was going to be the last time that she was that way. And other than you know normal, um, say normal, you know attitudes or normal personality types, they didn't seem like. They want to destroy the planet or nothing like that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to see what it's like to kind of be in their shoes, so to say. So I went up to Salvation Army. I spent quite a few hundred dollars and I bought a whole bunch of skirts. Some fit, some didn't, but I just, you know. And uh, for the whole month, everywhere I went, everything I've done, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, the flea market when I'm selling, garage sales when I'm selling, all the family events, everywhere. For the whole month of May, I've been wearing skirts. Let me grab a tool real quick. And... I mean, other than I've had two people who knew me, you know, who, who've known me for years uh, in Lowe's, they kind of gave me a weird look, didn't even acknowledge it. You know, I'm just, I'm wanting to see if somebody was going to say something. Nobody said anything. Hopefully this is not too loud. I apologize if it is, but I got to keep working while I'm doing this. And just kind of, you know, to show you guys, I'm actually on a job. This is the second door I put in for this particular customer. And I was in a skirt last time I came over here. So, now 
I'm sure, uh, and I'm gonna go back to a couple of places. And uh, like I, I talked with one of the guys at Lowe's, and I guess a couple of people asked about it. And uh, you know, he just said he's doing something for YouTube, and they're like, oh, okay, you know. Which uh, one of the guys I've known him, and I told him what I was doing after the fact, which I probably shouldn't have, but I did. And uh, but now I'm I'm actually surprised that you know that either people are too scared too scared to say something, or they really just don't care, or the fact that no one pays attention to anything anymore because most people walk through life in a blur and uh, when I say that right, I'm done with the nail then so when I people say, uh, whenever I say people walk in a blur most people are so consumed with their own life that they kind of everything that's not directly related to them is kind of fuzzy in their world Okay, so it's, uh, it's not to say that they don't necessarily pay attention, but it, you know, most people don't focus in on, uh, the abstract parts of your life. Like when you're driving, you're not paying attention to every single car. It's only the ones that, you know, get close to you or get near you. But yeah, I'm, I'm really taken aback on the fact that not one person. Now I, I have, well not, see, I'm doing it again. I'm stopping halfway through a sentence. So not one person came up to me and questioned why I'm wearing a skirt. Or, you know, it's like, and it really it's none of their business. And I'm fine with that. But I thought at least one person in this redneck city of a southern town would say something but they didn't and i was hoping to have a nice little story for you guys but you know now i gotta figure out since nothing happened now i'm like okay well what am i going to tell you guys what is what is my experience but i honestly think that uh, most people don't pay enough attention to other people's lives to, you know, be able to come up and, and say, oh, I'm, I'm glad or I'm happy or whatever their personal beliefs are. But the media pays a lot of attention to it. They're constantly talking about it. And I think... That it's not about dividing the, you know, the country and having left versus right and right versus wrong and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think they're trying to get as many people on both sides to just watch their show, to get upset, and then buy whatever product they're selling at that time. I think it's all about advertising and uh, trying to get people to take their medicine, take their, uh, you know, buy their pillow to do all of this kind of stuff. I think it's, that's the only reason we have a news media now is to sell crap that we don't even want or need. And nothing against the pillow guy, but why in the hell would someone spend... $30, $40 on a pillow when you can go up to Walmart and buy one for five bucks. And if you're asleep, no one cares. I mean, people have been sleeping on hay bales. But, I don't know. It's just, uh... I just think everything's been kind of bastardized so that people can get rich selling advertising. I mean, hell, that's what I'm trying to do, to be completely honest with you. I would love for enough people to come on here and subscribe and watch my videos. 
to where I could get paid a fraction so that YouTube can put a video or a commercial in front of my video and then I can make money. You know, I would love that. Now, I'm not looking to be a millionaire. I don't really care. But there's a way for you guys to watch my videos and get me enough money to where I can cover gas to drive around and show you different parts of America because that's my end goal is to be able to go travel and you know get rid of all the excess stuff in my life so I can go travel and go on road trips and talk to the you know to like the, the leaders of towns and also the misfits of towns and just show the different aspects of life for all Americans. I mean, that's kind of like my end goal. That's something that I want to do. Is, and it's mainly for me because I want to learn about as many people as I can and experience as much stuff as I can. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually very upset that nothing happened. I wish I could tell y'all a great story, but I don't think anybody really cares. Like my customer here, she says, I don't care as long as, you, you know, as long as you're not out reading to school children and which I do think that that's really messed up you know I don't see any reason why a man in a dress needs to be reading to young school children now when I went to high school we had the, the uh, cross dress day where the guys wore you know their girlfriends uh, cheerleader outfits and things like that damn kitty just come through my work site and uh which i never really participated in that i don't think i did i don't remember wearing a skirt to school uh, plus i never had a cheerleader girlfriend that's for damn straight ah this is the hard part i'm getting too old for this stuff hold on one second i'll be right back I'm sitting here talking about transgender, transgender things, and I'm I got a, a shim. <laughs> that's it goes from fat to small. I guess that's a transitioning thing here. A shim. I don't know. Why I thought that just funny. Uh, where my hammer go? But no, it just. I think people just need to live their own lives. You know, if you have a neighbor and, and you have grievances with a neighbor, then yes, that's real. But when you get pissed off at somebody halfway around the world that you've never met, you know, that's kind of messed up. I mean, even, like, I'm not a fan of Biden. I would consider myself a more conservative person. But I don't believe, I don't think that everybody on the right, uh, is out for us. You know, they have their agendas and they have all their shit that they're trying to sell too. But, you know, just because I'm sure Biden's a great person, you know, I don't know if I'll ever have the opportunity to meet him. If I did, boy, I'd have some questions. But I don't hate him. I just kind of hate some of the stuff he does, you know. But, and again, some. And I don't know the whole story, you know, as far as behind the scenes, what's really happening. Like, I would love to sit down and talk with, uh, you know, some leaders on both sides to see, you know, who's right, who's wrong. And I have my personal truth on what I think is right and wrong. But I always want to hear the other side, hear great arguments. And if anybody was ever wondering if I build doors, you can see I'm literally building a door here at this lady's house. Which I routed out the uh, the hinges and put the hinges on. The doors are already uh, already done. I got that around the corner there. So. But now I just and I know I'm kind of just rambling, so. 
in my experience, at least for the past month, no one cares, no one notices. So if you're inclined to, you know, do something, then just do it. Because for what I can tell, <laughs> nobody's even going to notice you doing it anyways. And to be fair, there's one thing I'm glad that it's over. It's my God, pockets. I cannot believe on how how difficult it is just to carry stuff. But I've learned a lot. Most of the skirts that I wore were um, like the tennis skirts that had the shorts on underneath. So that's most of the ones. Uh, I ran out of them, so today I'm wearing this one but I put leggings on underneath so in case the wind gets to blowing I'm not showing <laughs> what I just hit but yeah I may revisit this one day but I'm trying to figure out what to do for next month um, I'm thinking about uh, doing something that's more athletic so that I can lose some weight and uh, be competitive with my sister. I'm almost done here. All right, all done, door built. I just gotta take the old one out and put this one in. Yeah, I guess in conclusion, no one pays attention. No one really cares unless you're in their life with it and like, you know, intruding in someone's life, uh, forcing them to make decisions that they probably didn't want to make in the beginning. Um, everything you see on television, and I'm, I'm under the conclusion, everything you see is advertising. Look at a music video, look at movies, look at anything. They always zoom in to a watch or a phone or food or a drink or something. I mean, if it's in a movie, it's paid to be there and it is paid for advertising. Yeah. And um, even though I do think that this is the end of uh, the civilization of America, you know, as far as I think that this country is beyond the point of... Um, Save, uh, saving, you know, I'm not saying we shouldn't try. I just, I, I honestly think that, you know, uh, just like when the Roman Empire uh, fell, when the Byzantines fell, when the Constant, Constantinople and the Constantines, when they fell, um, you know, when all these great empires throughout history, when they fell, I think this is, if not the beginning of that point, you know, so. Man, that's a little bleak, but it's it's what I what I see, what I feel, what I, you know, and I'm not the only one. A lot of people agree that, you know, um, anyways, this is off topic. <laughs> so, but yeah, as far as uh, these trans people, as long as they're not messing with kids, I say leave them the hell alone, let them live their life. If uh, if you think it's a mental disorder, then think that, but it's. It's their mental disorder, and if all they're doing is uh, changing their biological sex to, you know, make themselves happier, then so be it. If, you know, um, I do not think that a, a, a man who transitions as a woman can get pregnant. Um, I believe a woman who transitions to a man can get pregnant. And that's where, you know, a lot of the news, news people are like, well, can a man get pregnant? Well, if it's a woman and transitions to a man and you recognize that sex, then yes. You know so but I may may revisit this because there's a lot more I want to say but being out here on a job my brain's a little half fried and you know I'm trying to get this done and have a very serious conversation with you but I just wanted to let you know that you know for the whole month this is what I've been doing uh, everywhere restaurants you know um, uh, the flea market garage sales uh, you know Home Depot Walmart thrift stores everywhere I've been every single day including my house if i'm outside cutting the grass 
This is every single second of uh, every single day. I've been wearing a skirt just to see what would happen, and literally nothing happened. I had a garage sale. One guy asked, uh, I don't know if I said this in the video or not, but one guy said, uh, that's an interesting looking apron. You know, that's the only thing someone said to me. You know, and, I, and then um, there's been a couple of cases, like my neighbor, I'm sitting over there talking with him, you know, uh, him and his, uh, I think, girlfriend, I don't know, but um, or a longtime friend. But I was uh, talking with them for like 30 minutes. I was like, none of y'all even said anything. In fact, I was wearing this same one. You know, and uh, it, oh, I thought it was shorts. <laughs> so, you know, most of the people that I actually brought it up just to see what they would say, they all said I thought it was shorts. So, but anyways, I'm gonna get uh, finishing this door. Hopefully, before it rains, it's getting cloudy. So, um, and I will probably sit down and revisit this in a later video, um, as far as more in depth and uh, put a lot more on the table than just this. And if y'all wanna. Uh, you want to see a really in-depth conversation about the whole aspect of what I know and the people I've met and the customers that I've had, uh, family members, friends throughout you know a lifetime of learning. If you want to know more about that and have an honest sit down with uh, everything, um, just put a little comment in the bottom just saying yes you'd like to see more and say no you don't really care. So, but on that note, peace, love, money, I'm out.